Hi guys, welcome to VIT Academy. I'm Muhammad Aswan. Today I'm going to tell you how to install, configure and use free TFTP server by SolarWinds. So we will install it, we will configure it and we will use it. Use will, uh, I mean, what is use, uh, use of this server? In order to copy some file, I mean to take a backup of files somewhere at a server and then when you need it to drive them, this is the use of TFTP server. You can save files there and you can take files from remote computers. So in order to install this, we need to, this is prerequisite. This is prerequisite. It's very important. You should have network.net framework 2.0 or higher. Higher even 4.0 or 4.5 or whatever you have, that will work. So installing and configuring TFTP server, this will be, we need to download and then we need to install and configure TFTP server. Next step, step will be installing TFTP client in client machine. I mean server will be only one. You can have multiple clients like thousand clients and they can copy files, their files and they can take them back. But in order to take files, you need to uh, keep the name of the files. So start copying files, then you can start copying files. And this is actually command used for the client to copy files. So we will proceed now for the practical. First of all, I will give you this link. This is a link. This link is already copied inside description. Check description of this video and download from here. Click here and download. I have already downloaded this uh, solar wind. It's in my hard drive. I will try to run this one. Yes, click on yes to accept. It will try installing now. Now it's uh, being installed. We are installing solar wind TFTP server at my machine. Click next. Yes, I accept. Next. Name it anything like John and company name or you can name Usman, company name, VIT or whatever. VIT Academy, click next. Now we are going to install here. Okay, no problem. Click next, install. It will take a while. It's very small program, only 16 MB or something. So it's totally free by solar wind. You do not need to pay anything in order to install this or download this. It's done. Our server is installed already. The FTP server, you can just double click and open. Okay, I will hide my icons. It will look good now. Anyways, this server service is stopped right now. We need to start this service. So in order to start, we need to go to configure. Here is a root directory for the service server if you need to change or something. And in security, you can select only send file or receive file is allowed or these IP addresses are allowed. All configurations are available here. But right now we are going to start directly. We don't need any configuration and by default configuration we will use it. Okay. This service is started now. This service is going to start now. What happened? Start. So by clicking on start, this service is started. I will show you this path. Uh, okay. I will copy. Paste it here. Or you can just, sorry, this is another file copied already. My, this computer, C drive. And this is TFTP root. If you copy anything in this folder, this will come in your server. So you can copy look from the server itself, itself locally. Anyways, our service is started now. It's started with this. This is UDP port by default. Uh, in order to run this TFTP server, I mean this TFTP server is running on this machine now. It's totally ready to copy the files and to copy uh, to files. I mean to give files, to take files and give files. I will show you, we need to turn up firewall. You need to turn up, if you can play with the firewall, then you can go on, play with firewall. Otherwise, as I will make it simple. I will close this firewall to do not disturb my transfers or anything. 
so this is closed already moreover i need to show you ip address of this server detail the ip address is double five i already know ip address that's why i wrote here this is our ip address so i already checked before the video so this is my ip i'm gonna go now to the client and in client i will install client in windows 10 we will go to control panel c-o-m-t control panel then you need to go to programs and features here we go programs and features you need to turn off on windows features click on this one and here you need to select you need to select tftp client um, sorry, it's not installed. I will show you that if you go to command prompt like this and you write tftp tftp this command will not run because you don't have tftp client installed in your computer So this Windows server by default it's not installed. You can install it and Now we are installing tftp client after this installation completes complete the request changes close okay it's done now if we click the FTP now see if it is showing now you have this syntax to copy the files or whatever now our client is also ready to give files and to take files and this address this is address you can consider you are at this location in our case we will go to D drive colon now we are in d drive i'll show you my d drive from the file explorer that this is my d drive and my d drive have two files both are jpg both are pictures i want to save them at tftp server i will show you they will be saved so we just need to write this command which i show you already you have seen this command here tftp minus i Okay, tftp dash i, sorry, i, and my source, uh, my host will be 192.168.100.55, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, it's 55, I think. More, uh, now we need to write here. Uh, get or uh, put we need to get file or we need to put file we need to put files We need to put file at this server and the file name should be dns dot jpg jpg is extension of this file. So Yes transfer is See it's a successful now. I'm gonna put the other file which is file file dot this is the file up there. This is the file up there. Uh, I'm now copying this file. Enter. Transfer successful. Both of the files are transferred to our TFTP server. I will go to TFTP server and I will show you that two files are copied there. See, there is a log that these two files are copied to root TFTP. I will show you this folder. I already show, I already show you this folder, but now from the folder, see location tftp i'll show you these two files are copied here so anytime you need to get these files from any client you just need to go to that client and from that client you can just you know uh like now we are already in d so we already have these files so i'm gonna go to new folder name a and here i will just go to cd space a i am inside a now i will copy that file uh, up arrow will work yes up arrow works so i'm not going to put this file i'm going to get this file this time enter this file is copied and inside this folder see i got this file so i hope you like this video Please subscribe for my channel. It, it helps me to upload more videos, good videos to help you. See you later. Bye-bye.